I don't know if people remember, but back when this when this did break, uh, the whole point of the campaign to make this these this this expense information public was that, the, that we were meant to be able to see it uh, in real time and look at the actual receipts. And instead, Harriet Harman, I think it was, who decided, no, the public can't be trusted to see these receipts directly. We have to have a bureaucracy in order to be like a kind of middleman and a regulator. And I feel like this has just created a lot of the problems that we continue to see because there isn't a direct connection between what the MPs are spending and their idea that this is something the public, our constituents, our voters are going to see in very, very immediately. So is this something we can publicly justify? I think if they felt that connection, the system would police itself and we wouldn't need so much bureaucracy and, and regulation, frankly. But, but we do now have the information about John Burko, so that surely does show uh, the system is working and he's having to justify it. Well... Uh, I think the system, uh, the fact that, that the Press Association had to file a Freedom of Information request for information which has already gone through multiple year long litigation um, to make sure that this, this is considered a public record, the proactive public record. You shouldn't have to be filing FOI requests anymore for expense data. It should be just, you know, it's a public, a piece of public information that should be almost like a data feed that anybody can look on their computer, see what their MP is claiming, and, and that's how the system should work. So I feel as, as long as we have this very Byzantine uh, bureaucratic system, there will continue to be MPs who just don't really give much thought to how their expenses look when they come into the public view. Would we not, though, need for uh, confidentiality and security reasons? We still need a bureaucracy to uh, redact things like addresses from... Uh, some of these receipts, if they, they couldn't just be put out uh, on on the uh, web, could they? Because, I mean, that would be giving MPs less privacy than individuals enjoy. Well, most all of... The whole point of these expense claims is that they're public documents and they are... Um, they've been fought through up to the High Court about what should and shouldn't be public and what is considered private. They can only make claims for uh, things which are solely and wholly in the public interest. So there shouldn't really be anything particularly private in these claims. The only thing which the judge in the, our, my initial high court case said is that they had a right to keep private certain health issues and maybe uh, their signature and bank details. But apart from that, everything really should be made public. And those things are very easily um, redacted and the rest should be just available. And if there's an issue about putting it all online, why not make a repository in the House of Commons where people can go and look at it very easily as a public record? But, I mean, the assumption of all this is that uh, the behaviour is wrong, yet are there not some legitimate expenditures for officials? Uh, you know, the Prime Minister has a chauffeur-driven car, which obviously costs a lot more uh, per day than what the speaker has claimed uh, just for one day. Right. Well, get, and that's the whole point. The point is that if, if the, it's not to say that MPs don't deserve expenses. Of course they do. They have to run offices, they have to pay staff, they have to travel to their constituency. When these things are made public, they think quite hard about, is this something I can justify to the general public? And that's the sort of pressure, I think, that's needed for an accountable system. When we have the system now where John Burko can basically think, oh, well, you know, these, these pieces of my information are not going to be in the proactive quarterly release. So no, I'm going to think, as John Burko, nobody's going to see this information. Um, why not spend £175 to go 0.7 of a mile? You know, what do I care? Um, and that's the problem when you have this, this level of opacity around, uh, you know, these, these expense claims. But, I mean, he may well think, I'm a speaker, I'm an important person. If I have to keep a car waiting I'm for sure five a, hours, yeah, why not? I'm sure he does think that. I'm sure he does think that, and I'm sure in his own mind he can justify why he's worth it. Um, but the point being that it's not his money, it's the public's money, it's our money, and he has to justify it to us. And in a democracy, I don't think like that's anything particularly revelatory that I'm saying. So what, what is kind of still amazing to me is that the British Parliament still hasn't got its head around the fact that these are expenses paid for by the taxpayer, the public, and it's to the public that MPs must be directly and in a timely way accountable for what they spend.